talk. Uh, isn't that like a snack, talkies, talkies. that the kids eat now? Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah, some talkie talk. That's yeah, what talkie we're talk. Rename it to. Hey, there's a new Christmas chart topper. You know, for years now we've been talking, oh, Mariah Carey and how we're saying, you know, oh, you either love that song or hate it. No. 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 Guess what? An oldie but a goodie has knocked Mariah off. Yes, Brenda Lee and her hit Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. I mean, you're going back 50 years ago mm-hmm. when she wrote that and sang that. It's number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for the first time. This hol- is pretty cool. Yeah, in fact, more than 50. It's 65 years old. It's getting a resurgence, already getting 35 million streams and 21 million radio plays this year. Lee was 13 years old when she recorded it. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, and for the song's anniversary released uh, an official music video with country singers Tanya Tucker as well as Trisha Yearwood. Oh, I bet that's good. Yeah. Mariah Carey's All I Want For Christmas Is You has been the number one song going into December for the last four years. It did come in at number two, so it didn't fall go. too far behind. Right. Do you have a favorite Christmas song? Um, you know, I like classics. Okay. I, you know, we saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning. Uh, that one's always good. I like okay. Carol the Bells. Very nice. I like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. That's a good one. Had a very shiny nose. Sure did. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call Colin him names. names. They did, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. They would never let Rudolph play any reindeer games. I know, right? <laughs> yes. Hey, Silent Night 2. That's another good one. Um, yeah, I, that one always makes so me cry. I always that's sit nice in my for car church with your little candle with the paper thing yes, around the candle. So, it's so, yeah. like, touching. Yeah. I love it. But no, there was some things going around, too. Brenda Lee was on a flight or something and sang the song over the speaker. Oh, I actually think I saw yes. that. That's pretty yes. cool. I, my mom is always blaring Michael Buble Christmas. That's a good one. Throughout... Tony- Oh, Tony Bennett Bennett has a great Christmas album back in the day. Yes, that's another good one. It's good. Well, if you've always dreamed of channeling your inner Kevin McAllister, the Plaza Hotel in New York City is making your Christmas wish come true. So the famous hotel offering a (laughs) home alone. We've seen this before, a home alone to fun in New York package. Remember, this is cool. Of course, this is when uh, Kevin McAllister uh, got uh, left again and went and checked into the Plaza Hotel. Uh, rates vary depending on what room you pick, but the package includes a four-hour private limousine ride around New York City. Of course, in that film, he got a large cheese pizza, if you remember, in the, um, what's you recall? This was uh, President Donald Trump was in that. Do you remember oh, that? Oh, yeah. Because he owned the Plaza at the hotel. I that he was in that movie. Yeah, uh, yeah. You also get a 16-scoop Home Alone Sunday. On your limousine tour, you're going to see locations from the film, like Rockefeller Center, the Empire State Building, That's Central fun. Park, Radio City Music Hall, and, of course, Carnegie Hall. I mean, you want Christmas, you go to New York. Uh, Paige is taking the girls for the first time um, Okay, she should next buy them weekend. this package. I, bet, they, it's, they, I bet it's cheap. We already, <laughs> we already took We already got our, our our housing. Uh, yeah. If the package deal sells out, though, during the holidays, it's still going to be cool. offered year long. That is a great trip. It, it's beautiful. It says everything uh, that you want to feel about Christmas. That I, would be so cool. I watched last night, and I watched it before. I watched yeah. Home Alone every time. Uh, but uh, on Netflix, uh, the movies that made us, this documentary, they look at big films and, you know, they take you through how it started, yeah. you know, tell you about the stars that almost were in it or whatnot. But they That's did a whole cool. one on Home Alone. Did they? And it was really cool it like, was good. how it was basically, they just made Christmas well, throw. If you look at that, everything in that house mm-hmm. is either green or red. Oh, yeah. The wallpaper. The, everything the, fo- is. Yeah, the phone's green when yeah. he calls on there. Everything. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. Hey, Kevin McAllister, too, he was just, um, I think, he was on the Holly. He was just in what is it inducted? He was inducted in the Hollywood uh, uh, Walk, Walk of, of Fame, Fame. Got a star, and, and it, the, what's Catherine her name? O'Hara. Yes, was there with him, and she like gave this really beautiful yes. speech. If you haven't seen it, definitely. And look he it gave up. a great speech. I mean, he's like a father now, and yeah. Mary and stuff. Yeah, it's really good. I think it's funny that people compare him, isn't it, to Joe Burrow? Don't they yes, say they look? They look alike? very similar. Yeah, and his brother Kieran Culkin is is big. Uh, was a star as well, but I mean, he was what in Succession. He, he was he played little brother in um in uh. Da, 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 Uncle Buck with Macaulay Culkin because Macaulay Culkin oh, was yeah. first in Uncle Buck. Yes. John Hughes film. Yes. Okay. John Hughes took a liking to him and said, you know what? I can make a movie around this kid. Yeah. Um, and then went on from there. Very cool. Yeah. Hey, uh, still to come, Catherine, still making her way through the tri state, looking for some great life. She is on her mission. We'll show you where she stopped this morning next.